Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where last episode we took on a new job within Corel, missing Mr. Birdie. As it turned out, the local kids, though wary of Barrett due to their parents, were willing to ask us to help find Cloud Jr., who had gone missing. After baiting some cages, we found the flying friend harassed by a super hot bomb, defeating it to return the bird to the children safely before resuming our world intel hunting in the region. Nowhere else to get to then. She's still there. She's still there. Oh, she's swinging at least now. <laughs> I think she realized it was too crowded. No one said she couldn't enjoy herself. <laughs> That's for certain. Right, uh, where's this go? Not down and up then. Goes around to the fiends by the look of it. Actually, it starts off with a battle that's going to be hard to navigate around. Uh, let's just go to inventory and how many like ethers and stuff do I have? Twenty-three. I feel like having Cloud with at least some magic for some flexibility is not a bad idea. I think there's a fish somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, there it is. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to hit the guy. Can you tell? Oh, I didn't get to tell my fortune. I think dies too fast. Okay, Sif was giving it a go. I'm just getting hurt when I don't even realize I'm getting hurt this bad, to be fair. I'm surprised most of the time when I realize my health has been dropping. So the thing's actually a lot higher up. I've still got to steal and deliver a Tombri. Oh, no, a worm again. Even though I know sneak attacks first. Oh no. It's all about Kate Sif, I'll have you know. He's where we were really looking at an action there. Trying to get that weapon ability. Alright, so this brings us up to either between uh, possibly a ravine going to a moogle house. But to be honest, the fiend's gotta be this way. I'm assuming this might be a treasure location. Oh. And now I've just started going up things without really even knowing where I'm going. Sure. Don't check out the reactor kind of e place, I don't know. Wait, that's not a get-off spot? Am I just willfully missing the location I'm supposed to... Oh, that's the girl spot. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Chimera variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. 
A strange amalgamation of species. The Chimera's addition to the animal kingdom coincides with the advent of Mako. This timing is likely no coincidence, as Mako Energy's adverse effects on creatures is well documented. Fossils that have been excavated rather recently, however, appear to be those of an ancient ancestor to the modern Chimera. Scientists have since postulated that the fiend actually has prehistoric origins. Provenance aside, the beast is a proven threat to any living near its ever-expanding territory. Please take care while squaring off against this mysterious foe. I'm sure I'll take care. You know, probably getting completely bopped by the guy way. I get potions probably are the best way for me to get healing faster at this point in time. Okay, so Kaitsev's actually not that far from Thor on that. I'm just wondering if I can make some mist mega potions or not. No, I need planet splendor for that. Still make some more mist high potions. But equally, do I really need to? Enhanced Ulti Beast bracelet can be made. And that's separate from the one that Cloud was wearing. So I should have done the one that Cloud was wearing first. Like with the one that Red's wearing. Should be fine to go, though again, I do worry about MP a little bit. That's what pillows are for. Well, let's just fight these guys with very luminescent bits. Horns, horns, claws, and horns. Snagger, <laughs> exploiting enemy's weakness is already done. <laughs> so I it's Blizzard? You know. It's fire. Rare Chimera variants whose multiple heads now think as one thanks to the effects of macro exposure. This synchronized consciousness allows them to hunt prey far more effectively than their chaotic brethren. Horn Mally becomes pressured after using aquatic beam. <laughs> Did a second. <laughs> guys, guys, can someone help? <laughs> I'm in the corner here and I'm being beaten the crap out of. Salamander belt. <laughs> of course I fell then. I need a focus shot, that one. Because that one's the one that was most recently pressured. Gah. They're going at me super hard again here. Just gotta finish it within the time limit, though. Which is gonna be harder than I think it is gonna be. I'm like living on the edge of death. Just trying to put in as much damage as I can as possible to finish off this one. That should be enough. <laughs> no care of health. Only of damage. Time limit exists. Well done, Cloud. You've managed to complete all combat assignments in the Corel region. What assignments they were! You faced so many fiends! Sholopods, Spearhawks, Landworms, Chimeras... That's quite enough. Anyway, I've added a new combat trial to the simulator, Cloud. Do check it out sometime. Not long from now, we will be. Wait, did that not make a... I thought that you get a bigger fiend appearing? Uh, what? Maybe I'm wrong? 
Maybe I gotta go to somewhere else? I mean, when I say maybe I'm wrong, like, I'm clearly wrong at that point. Did I just screw myself over by jumping down there? Can't go any lower. I don't know the way down again. Oh. Suddenly I jumped. Suddenly it was that way down. Let's find a bench. A nice, safe bench. Now oh, we couldn't even go this way when it came to this thing. You can see our buggy all the way down there, though. I guess the Moogle House is the next on our tour. And that just goes around there. I can hear the sand joint probably over that way. I thought when we do all our fiend intel, we get the bigger fiend intel. Like Quetzalcoatl and the other guy who I can't remember now. <laughs> Maybe I'm totally wrong. Hello. Oh, yeah, I need you. Show me where it is, buddy. You're just what the doctor ordered. The mind flare, okay. It flayed my mind, that's how I forgot. You even had to go back and assess it? Yeah, about that. Or buy the Titan card? Yeah, about that. One day. Maybe the Chocobo chick has to wait for me to rest. Maybe that's why they lure you over to rest stops. They're like, please go to sleep, because it's like a buddy system. They can only go to sleep without, like, coming to massive harm if they make sure that there's a guardian, otherwise someone will come and eat them. So they're trying to lure travelers over to pick up those signs so they can have a waste, like a sleep. It is a Moogle Emporium, but that's actually sad news, because it's time to play Wrangle the children again. Hello? Have you got a hold of your children this time? It's the adults messing about this time. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? Yes, I, I would mind greatly, Mischief Level 4. Boing? Boing. Oh, I can't sneak through there. Okay. Oh, watch out. There's like things coming down everywhere here. You're bombing yourself now? That guy just took a pot shot at me. Could you like... If you intend me to wrangle your children, could you, like, at the very least, do something about, you know, the peril I'm in? Or, like, not having as many barricades, maybe? This guy's been a right dick. <laughs> you better get on dry land. Yeah, I'm coming for you. No, no, don't go the other way. Koopo. I think I'm going to dodge roll into you. Haha! -ha. I forgot that you're still attacking your bases now. I'm usually you get bombed by yourself here. That'd be nice. Damn you! Don't you act all thingy. Oh, I missed. Uh, dodge roll. Dodge! Oh, this was just shoot me in the face. I've got two things on my head. I'm gonna fail. Okay, we've got 
I can't run that way. You've stuck things my way. Five. Oh, Five one. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. What about my life? You're such a great help, Koopo. As a reward, I'll tell you the story of how Mog and Mag fell in love. It's so romantic. Even after Mog was fully grown, he still struggled to fly. But he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Eventually, Mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him. As time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day... <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Please, because I don't want an explanation. <laughs> I've got these diagrams here. <laughs> Coming to our Moogle Emporium. Oh my god, I just thought of something disturbing. Let's not share it because it's probably better for everyone that they also didn't think of this. Right, we got Fortunes Untold Volume 2, some Kate skill points, and Art Soul Play Volume 4. We've also got a Vibro Detector, a device capable of detecting subterranean tremors, supposedly. Why not? We'll have that, you sure? Healing materials sounds like earring sounds pretty good now. Well, these all get sold out in time. So 18. I won't buy the rest at the moment, but still. Come again soon. I I was just wondering, considering how a Moogle looks Come kind of scary here. in this game anyway, what would a conclusive face look like, if you get my meaning? Okay, so. Where to go to go further from here? Probably that way then. So there's a light spring. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. There's also something up there. Yes, I will follow you. I feel like I should be scared of going deep inside caves at this point in time. So have we managed to somewhat successfully wrap up what we can do for World Intel in this region now? It's free left. Cloud. Good news. I believe I've ascertained the whereabouts of your royal quarry, the Tonberry King. Johnny wasn't that far off. Let's not keep your entrepreneurial friend waiting, lest he wither in the heat. I should do these. <laughs> they give me the info. Heavy lies the crown. Classified intel. Dangerous fiend nest. It's climbing up that way, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a different direction. Well, it's time to get insta-killed. A lot, probably, maybe. We'll find out. Tombry's scary enough. Tombry King sounds scarier. I mean, in certain game mechanics, I wouldn't have had enough time to build up a grudge because I haven't been killing too many enemies. <laughs> We'll have to see how this works out. <laughs> what would be best to use against a Tombury? <laughs> so what is up here? Maybe it'll dehumidify me or rehumidify me. The terror. Oh! So this is how we get to one of the spots. Unfortunately, that doesn't work out for me now unless this somehow saves the spot for fast travel. And I've kind of wasted a little bit of time there. 
Well, that is a bit of a waste of time. Yeah, it didn't prove anything there. But at least we know the way to get there when we do come back. So that's going to be a, a little bit later from now. I guess we go to this phenomenon in terms of fast travel. And then from there... interesting part is going to come I th the mission is specifically to steal correct how do I get to quest it's just 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 on the map menu yeah steal the Tomber King's crown now if that means defeating it you may deliver a pristine or marred crown. Well, I'm assuming I need a pristine crown then. Okay. So that means I'd need someone with steel in the group. So I might just switch out. Yeah, I'll switch out you for a moment, Kate Sif, and I will get in Yuffie. That would make sense to me. I think Yuffie's got steel on. And can easily generate ATB from range. Mug as well, yep. We'll see if it actually does get stolen or not. But before I fight this guy, I'm definitely going to want to save. Because I reckon he... I mean, obviously we can retry anyway. But he's going to chop my head off, I know it. Oh, it's like in a Colosseum. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Weird noises going on. It's a death chamber for you to get into. Lovely. Ah. Cloud, it appears that you've arrived in the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his. Namely yours. I say it's high time we divest him of it. You believe it to be so. <laughs> Bit worried about it. It's boss fight time. Oh, <laughs> Get away! Slow to me. Don't hang out for any of them. He's having a tantrum. <laughs> he won't hold that thought. We've already done a fair bit of damage. A giant tomb that lives in a remote part of Corel Desert. Its elegant and noble appearance has earned it the title of king, as well as the gorgeous crown now adorning its head. It approaches its targets majestically, brandishing its knife and lantern with fittingly royal flair. Inflating enough damage when its attacks miss will pressure it. When pressured, it will drop its pristine crown, leaving the item vulnerable to being stolen. Its special attack renders the target incapacitated and able to be revived. What? <laughs> so this could be a war of attrition. If Yuffie dies, then that's it. We need to pressure it first. And then work from there. Please bear in mind that this is all based on fables and folk as the counts of both ancient and apocryphal. Don't call for friends! Do not call for friends! Sorry, should have paid more attention. Who just chef's nice me from... I was the other side of him. What the crap? I was attacking him from behind and then all of a sudden I died? Is that we not- still got a job to do. That wasn't a special attack though. Of all the time. Gotcha. Oh god, there's Rancor. I was pressured. Oh, the other Tombri is. Oh my goodness, there's more of them. He called for a chef's knife to land on my head, and then it did. Ain't dead yet. 
Oh, a little tomboy appeared in Chef's Nice Me. God, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. A little tomboy appeared under his blooming skirt. Evading their chef's knife will pressure them. Profoundly enigmatic creatures whose unsettling expressionless faces belied unimaginable malice. These green robed fiends approach their target slowly, holding a lantern in one hand and a deadly chef's knife in the other. Oh, it's over. Stop revealing. It's Rancor. Oh, you're targeting. I don't know what's Barrett over there. No. Doom and gloom. Hopping mad. This is when the pans happen. I don't really seem to be pressuring it that well. There it is. I need to deliberately make his attacks miss then. Oh, you got pressured. Don't overdo it. This is very confusing. Is there two targets here? There is. I stole it. My turn. Here it comes. Hey, where's Byron then? Oh, you dead, Barrett. Still up for it. That's it. What's that going for? Not me. Try this. Take the lead. Love means out. Special delivery. Want some more? Shit hurts. I'm not done now. I believe in me too, honest. Check out you can handle. The pleasure's all mine. Hey. Biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry's social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. I don't think I need to know. Another crown snatched by the incomparable Yuffie. Let's hurry up and get this to Johnny. My health is looking pretty, <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> oh, we'll find a seat to sit down at. We won't even need to cure, but we may as well cure for now. So with our world intel pretty much complete, apart from two segments, which makes sense. Let's fast travel back to Johnny. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So where's the crown? Hand over the pristine one. Is that the best one to do? Sure. Whoa! Get a load of the shine on that baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Don't worry. The fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this! I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you.
Job done then, I guess. Let's uh, warp our way back to Johnny. <laughs> Weird as the guy may be, there's many of him now. So we have to respect that, uh, nothing, really. But just nice to Johnny, that's fine. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Gotta, Gotta run. A furry friend who needs to burn off some energy? Come to run wild. I guess that Tombri will warm up for me for the combat simulator, but it wouldn't surprise me if the combat simulator now throws Tombris at me. But it's Chadley's Combat Simulator that's next. And then I suppose there's like a full smorgasbord of things for me to do back at the Gold Saucer again. Yeah. What a charming I already handed it, I'm not sure. Long it's been here. Watering. <laughs> They're all breaking. I mean, this is handy for them, isn't it? This is actually a good situation for Johnny. You can actually refurb this place. It's a lot of manpower. Uh. Careful, Johnny. Take another look at that stupid... Good news, bro! All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So, what now? Want me to poop him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, yeah bro! bro. So yeah, me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. I like the plan. Welcome, Welcome to Johnny Seaside in Remake! Wow! So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. Oh, don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all want what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would be standing here today, today if, if it weren't, weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry, you got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny out! Johnny's! You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one. <laughs> I think one of you's more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry! We'll attract guests from far and wide, with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, because when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs> 
What does that mean? This is Johnny's treasure trove. Johnny is amassing a collection of rare curios from all around the world to elevate his seaside inn to a seven star institution. Win mini games and complete various objectives around the world to obtain collector's items and automatically donate them to your best bro. Press L2 to view your current treasure trove as well as hints on how to find more collector's items. Well, at least I'm not negatively relationed with Yuffie anymore. That's great. Even though it feels like we were being mean. 22 out of 88 collectibles have been done. Only a third. Only a quarter. <laughs> I knew it was an exact fraction. And I got it wrong. But it's like, you hear yourself speak sometimes. So you're just like, you know that's incorrect. Brain, why have you communicated this detail to mouth? <laughs> 